I had some people that really wanted to see my Bible collection. They see all the uh, pictures I take of the inside of my Bibles for the videos. And I just wanted to show you my King James Bible collection. And this is the Bible that when I first really started taking notes in the Bible, this is the one that I that I bought back in like 2015 is when I really started taking notes in the Bible, which wasn't that long ago, really. But you can see that it's getting faded right here from lots of use, lots of carrying it to work. But it's the Common Man's Reference Bible by David Hoffman. And you can see where it says 1611 Authorized King James Bible, Holy Bible. He does the name in printing on purewordsoftruth.com if you want to get one of these Bibles. And I've used this thing a lot. Hours and hours of spinning this. And it's hard for me to use a Bible that doesn't have the wide margins. And... I've about got the New Testament filled up in this Bible. Right now, I'm not using this as my main Bible, for, but from about 2015 until like 2019, I was using this Bible pretty heavy. <clears throat> and you can fill, tons, fill this thing up with tons of notes. And the, the Common, Man's, Common Man's Reference Bible... It just has so many references here in the middle. It has a lot of notes at the bottom. But the other good thing is, even though it has all the references and all the notes, you still have all the room for your own notes. So that's why I use the Common Man's Reference Bible as my main Bible, because not only does it have the references there to start with, but then you can put in as pretty much as many as you want to. And like I said, I've I've been through this this Bible so many times and this is the actually the third edition of the Common Man's Reference Bible. And you've probably seen where he's come out with the fifth edition now. But even after all the use I've I've still not got the thing completely full. As places for notes in the back. I don't really know too much to say about how the Bible is made. I'm not really an expert on that, but it's been a really good Bible for me. It's got the colored maps in the back. If you like to look at the maps as you're reading, look up where it's talking about. And it's got some blank pages back here. Right here it shows you, this is the third edition printed in 2014. It's got the epistle dedicatory there. It says there's approximately 60,000 cross references in the preview, previews, margins, maps, and footnotes. And here he gives a dedication and names the people he was influenced by. So if you like people like Clarence Larkin, Peter S. Ruckman, J. Vernon McGee, C. I. Schofield, all, all kinds of different people, different Bible believers here.
So yeah, this was my main Bible for a while. I, a lot of the videos have pictures from this Bible here. But this is just one of my Bibles. It's the Common Man's Reference Bible. And I'll put a link in the description if you would like to get one of these Bibles.